Yes, my polish is chipped. I'll fix it later. Because right now, I want to change my room. I know, I know. I can't commit. See, this is the problem with having a permanent doll space. When you're a person who likes to make stuff and I want a new headboard. I got this wire juke cord from the dollar store. It was $1.25 each. I'm going to try to use it to make a new headboard because I want a larger bed. On a piece of paper, I lightly sketch a design. Hmm, looks a little rough, but at least we have a plan. Let's take the wire and start bending it to match our little design here. I'm gonna try just bending it back and forth, getting it as close together as I can. We're gonna need a little glue to hold it in place. This is going to be the back of our headboard, so it should be okay. That was a little more complicated than I thought. I'm still on my first pack of wire and I have yet to cut it, so that's pretty cool. We're just gonna go around this way and then go back. Then I went across the bottom and now I have to cut it. I'm using wire cutters. I opened a new pack and now I'm just gonna make these circles and glue them in the back Trim off the excess and then make more. Then glue them around our little semicircle. Then let's add a final piece across the top. This took only two packs of wire. So that's $2.50 for our new headboard. Let's recycle a cereal box. I cut off one of the sides then glue it into the box. I borrow more paperboard from another box to reinforce the sides. Then cover it in a little dollar store felt. Then take a little fabric and cover it, making a pretty tall mattress. I glue wooden dowels in the corners to give it a little lift. I'm gonna glue a piece of wood to the back. This is one of those jumbo craft sticks. I only glued it on the ends. I cut another one and glue it to the back of our headboard. Then we should be able to just slide it into the wood to have a changeable headboard. So now we can change out our headboard whenever we like without having to remake the bed. Let's move this one out the way and add the new one. This bed is a little lower to the ground and it's wider. Let's add the bedding from the other bed. And now Mini Toya can have a good night's sleep in a larger bed, which is taking up more space. Hmm, baby Luna. Maybe we can give her something a little smaller. We made this basket in a previous video. That one, right there. I think we can make a little stand for it. Using craft sticks? I picked up these craft sticks or popsicle sticks at the dollar store. They were $1.25. Our little basket is longer than the craft sticks. But we're gonna try this anyway. I take two of the craft sticks, place them in a cup of hot water, to soften the wood so I can bend it. Caution, hot water's hot. You have been warned. I place them in a mug, and now I'm going to pour out the water and allow them to dry. It's the next day, and now we have two curved pieces. I take two more popsicle sticks. Let's sketch a little curve. Cut on the line drawn, sand it, I tried to make as much of a curve as I could. Not sure if I was very successful there, but let's move on. So I'm gonna take the curved pieces and place them around the basket. Take the piece we just sanded, and I'm gonna place it hopefully between them as evenly as I can. Make a mark where they overlap. Take four more craft sticks, 
Let's trim off about a half an inch, glue them on next to the line marked. Ah, my measurements are off. I think I had the little curve turned too much. Ugh. I don't think the popsicle sticks are gonna be long enough. We do need something a little larger. If you made your basket a little smaller, then this isn't a problem. You can totally just use the popsicle sticks. However, this is pretty large. I found some jumbo craft sticks in my art bin. That should work. Let's redraw our curve, cut it out, and sand them. I do wear a mask when sanding, just throwing that out there. Glue them to the curved pieces, making sure everything will fit the basket. I glued it upside down. Hopefully that will keep everything level. There is a little gap between my popsicle stick and the curve. In hindsight, I should have bent the ends a little straighter, but I didn't. So I just filled it in with a little glue. Cut more popsicle sticks. I glued two going across the front. I glued two more on top of those, then two more across the bottom. And it's done. Place the bassinet inside to lift it off the ground and it rocks. Now we can take this and replace it with this when we need a little more space. Now let's change the dresser. This one does have working drawers, but I don't use them and I kind of want something different. So I'm taking two crates from the Dollar Tree and we're going to use some wall hangers. I glue the two crates together, place them onto the wood, trace around them, leaving a small border. Cut on the line drawn, sand the rough edges, make two, glue them to the top and bottom, I took some of the leftover wood and cut them into smaller pieces. I glue them on top, along the back, on three of the sides. Cut popsicle sticks and glue them together to make a rectangle. Glue a little burlap behind it. Glue them onto the wooden boxes to make faux drawers. I picked up these wooden beads at the dollar store. Glue them onto the bottom four feet. Let's take our miniature baby, trace around it. I have an oval shape, cut it out, cover it with leftover felt and leftover fabric, gluing it on the back. Wrap it with jute or macrame cord. Once the bottom is covered, turn it over and continue gluing to make the sides higher making a shallow basket that we can place on top of our dresser to use as a changing table. The basket is just large enough for our silicone baby or a Barbie baby. I still have a little leftover felt and fabric, so let's cut the felt into some thin strips. This is three quarter inches by two and a quarter. Cover it with fabric I'm just gluing it over the edge, fold it in half and glue it in place to make a faux cloth diaper. I made a couple and glued them together to look like a stack of cloth diapers on the changing table. Adding a few more details to our room. Thank you for joining us while we made a new bed with a changeable headboard and some new baby stuff. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye.